hello again just another quick share with you and this one is a little project I've made and it's a, a small attic bag it's all um, fully lined inside with this cotton fabric and it's it's made it's made from a a cotton calico fabric and it's covered it's a bit hard to see um, with some fabric lace fabric that Pauline sent me. Thank you, Pauline. Um, this I was inspired to make this by a lady on YouTube by the name of Lila Levine. She makes lovely, lovely attic bags, and and mine aren't like hers, but I was inspired to make mine um, because of hers. Hers are really quite beautiful. Um, I've used on the back this lovely old vintage doily cut up just for the back there to you know keep it quite plain on the back and then I have a ruffle of garment um, that I found at the thrift store which is lace and this ribbon type fabric I have this glittered uh, I think it came off some sort of scarf perhaps that Louisa sent me and then I have this fuzzy fiber which is from Michelle thank you Michelle then I have another piece of doily across the top there. On the right side, I have the same thing going on here, but I have a lovely rhinestone chain going across. It's actually three pieces, two larger ones and a smaller one. And they came off a buckle of a shoe. So I had to hand stitch all those on, which was no mean feat considering I had this fibre to deal with at the same time. Um, let me have a, a think. Okay, the like I said, the bag at the front has this lace fabric um, from Pauline. Then it is a, a combination of old doilies. That's a doily, part of a doily there. Then you have this piece here. Uh, you have doily piece here, doily piece there. We have a piece of a garment here some more of that scarf fabric uh, from Louisa there, some more fabric thrift, thrift store find there I have a pearl fabric trim there from Pauline again I have some more of the lace under here I have more of a doily here small doily, small doily fuzzy fibers and a mother of pearl butt this one here is part of the doily that is on the back of the bag. And we have another doily under there with more pearl trim across. Fabric with the lace. More of the doily that's on the back. More of the garment. Uh, more of the pearl trim. More of the lace fabric. And more of the doily there. This beautiful sequin trim I found at the thrift store quite some time ago. And I love, love, love that. And I've put another piece up here. I have some mother of pearl buttons here. I have a cluster of doilies to make a flower here and then this fabric is from this garment and this flower is from the same garment. It had um, it was like a jumper and it had a couple of flowers on it. Um, so I put that there. I've got this beautiful jewelry piece here and that was from Michelle. Thank you Michelle. Careful with jewellery and, and laces and things. They sometimes get a bit caught, don't they? I thought that looked really nice there. And then I just put a little um, bling in the centre there. Uh, behind this flower, I have this beautiful vintage piece of ribbon there. And also I've made, I've cut out a piece of a trim that Paul, uh, Lynn Harris gave me. And put that behind there as well. I've stamped an image onto some fabric um, like a crown and put that there. The handle is made up of some sari silk and vintage cotton trim and uh, the majority of the bag is sewn on the sewing machine like probably 90% of it is sewn on the sewing machine. There are a few hand sewn items obviously like the buttons and here and you know making the flower underneath and then 
just a couple of things were glued on at the last minute with fabric glue like this little flower piece here and this little bit of trim here was also glued on at the end but it is with fabric glue um, and that is it I've just knotted the handle and I hand stitched the handle on and it's quite a sturdy little bag but it you know it is a gift bag I wouldn't recommend putting it in uh, using it like going out and things like that because you can't wash it with all this jewelry and things on so it's more of a gift bag for somebody uh, so I hope you like that and do go and um, have a look at Lila's beautiful attic bags I will put a link in the description box below um, she does beautiful work and she has crafted for many 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 years so we can all learn something from her um, so that's it thank you so much for joining me today take care everybody bye bye